Did you know that Amazon is home to a staggering 9.5 million sellers? That's a massive number and it's only getting bigger with each passing day. With so many sellers on the platform, it's becoming increasingly difficult to get your products noticed by potential customers. So Amazon has come up with a nifty solution to help sellers get the extra edge in ranking their products in multiple locations on the Amazon serves. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerUp and today I'm going to talk about how to create Amazon sponsored product ads step by step. Excited? So am I. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerUp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Imagine you are a guitar enthusiast looking to buy a new guitar online. You head over to Amazon and search for electric guitars and voila, the first product that pops up is exactly what you were looking for. How did that happen? Well, it's all thanks to Amazon sponsored products. So how does it work? It's simple, really. Sponsored products is a pay-per-click ad that helps promote your product listing on Amazon. You pay only when someone clicks on your sponsored advertisement with the right strategy. Sponsored product campaigns help you rank the keywords. However, you can create sponsored product campaigns on Amazon if you have an active professional account. Now let's dive into the interesting part. How to create a sponsored product campaign on Amazon? Let me show you how to create your first sponsored product ad campaign. In Seller Central, go to the Advertising tab, then click on Campaign Manager and Create Campaign. Next, click Sponsored Product under Choose Your Campaign Type. The first we have here is Ad Groups. So ad groups are a way to organize and manage ads within a campaign. You can use ad groups to group your ads by brand, product, category, price range, or other classifications like theme or targeting strategy. Each campaign consists of one or more ad groups. The first ad group is created when you create a campaign. You can add more ad groups to the campaign you have saved it. And based on your campaign strategy, I recommend creating ad groups with products that are in the same category. This helps optimize your bidding strategy, relevance and targeting. Assign an ad group name that is descriptive and meaningful to you. Ad group names must be unique within a campaign, but you can use the same ad group name in different campaigns. Your ad group name will only be used for display purposes in the campaign manager and won't be visible to the shoppers. Since we are having beans as our product, I'm putting Bean Bliss Fitness Enthusiasts as the group ad group name targeted by the audience. Next up is products. Choose the products you want to advertise. You have three options available. Search, enter list and upload. Search by product name or ASIN and add the products individually if you don't have many products to advertise. Next option is enter list where you can enter ASIN separated by a comma space or new line. Next option is upload where you can upload the file of ASINs from your computer. I recommend the last two options if you are running ads for hundreds of products. Moving on, choose your targeting strategy. With sponsored products, you have two targeting options to choose from. Automatic targeting and manual targeting. The automatic targeting option gives Amazon control over which keywords or products your campaign will target based on your listing information. The automatic campaign selects the keywords based on your listing, so try to include relevant keywords in your listings. Under automatic targeting, you can set the default bid or set bids by targeting group. As you can see, there are four different targeting groups. 
First is close match. These ads appear when shoppers use search terms that are closely related to the product you are advertising. Let's say you are advertising a yoga mat. A close match ad uh, may appear when a shopper searches for best yoga mats, non-slip yoga mat or yoga mat for hot yoga. Lose match. These ads appear when shoppers search loosely related keywords. A loose match ad for the same yoga mat product may appear when a shopper searches for workout gear, fitness accessories or yoga equipment substitutes. They target shoppers who are considering products that are similar to your product but sold by a different brand. If you are advertising a brand of organic dog food, a substitutes ad may target shoppers who are looking at a different brand of organic dog food with more affordable price. Next is compliments. They target shoppers viewing detailed pages of products that complement yours. If you are advertising a high quality blender, a compliments ad may target shoppers who are viewing detailed pages for related products like protein powders, uh, smoothie recipe books or reusable straws. It takes just a few minutes to set up an automatic campaign making it a great option for beginner sellers. Over time, your campaign will accumulate enough data you can use to optimize your campaigns. Although we can't predict what specific keywords Amazon will target, the reports can provide insights to help you identify them. Within your report, you will be able to see every automatically generated target, how much was spent on each and how many sales resulted from each target. Now let's create a manual campaign. Within the manual option, you have greater control over the keywords or products your campaign will target. You can also pick targets from a list of suggested keywords Amazon provides or you can come up with your own. You can even set custom bids per keyword. Use keyword targeting when you know uh, the specific search terms customers use while looking for your type of product. You can find relevant high volume keywords using Cellwrap keyword tool. I've added the link to the same in the description below. With product targeting, you can target specific competitor ASINs, categories, brands, or other product features. Manual campaigns offer a variety of match types to choose from, including the broad, phrase, and exact match type. With broad match type, your ads will appear when shoppers search for any word in your keyword phrase, uh, regardless of the order. Say for example, if your keyword is running shoes, your ad may appear for searches like best shoes for running, running sneakers, or shoes for marathon running. With phrase match type, your ads will appear when shoppers search for your keyword phrase in the exact order you specify, but may also include additional words before or after the phrase. For example, if your keyword is running shoes, your ad would appear for searches like buy running shoes online, best running shoes for women, or running shoes for beginners. Next is exact match type. So this particular type displays your ads only uh, shopper search for your targeted keyword in the exact same format you specified, resulting in highly relevant traffic to your products. This match type is the most precise but also has the smallest reach. For example, if your keyword is running shoes, your ad will only appear for searches that include the exact term running shoes. You get three different options under keyword targeting suggested, enter list and upload file. Under the first one, you can choose suggested bid, custom bid or default bid. Then you can filter by broad, phrase or exact and sort by either orders or clicks. Later, you can add the suggested keywords. If you prefer, you can manually type in a list of keywords or easily upload a file from your computer to add them to your campaign. Next is negative keyword targeting. Now, negative keywords help prevent ads from appearing on shopping results pages that don't meet your campaign objectives. This extra level of control can improve your ad performance metrics such as click-through rate, return on ad spend, and cost per click. For this, 
you should identify the low performing or the non converting keywords and mark them negative now non converting keywords are those that do not generate any sales or conversions i would suggest you to find the negative keywords based on these criteria such as you know non converting keywords with a low click through rate non converting keywords with high ad spend and non converting keywords with more clicks now tracking negative keywords is crucial in optimizing your advertising campaigns as they can help you avoid irrelevant searches and save your budget for more relevant clicks and the best way to track your negative keywords is through seller app it will track negative keywords in your ppc campaigns based on your acos let me show you how after logging into the seller app dashboard navigate to the advertising and then insight section on the left you will find the search terms which are not performing well for your campaigns after analyzing them on the basis of primary attributes performance metrics and derived metrics you can select the keywords to mark them negative or ignore them for 7 days clicking on mark negative will add it as a negative keyword at the ad group level coming back to the campaign creation you can select between two match types under negative keywords a negative phrase it is a group of keywords that must appear in the search query in order for the ad to be excluded for example if an advertiser is targeting the keyword luxury bath towels uh, but wants to exclude searches for affordable luxury bath towels they could add affordable as a negative phrase this means that any search query containing the phrase affordable uh, luxury bath towels would not trigger the ad next is a negative exact keyword is a specific word or phrase that must match the search query exactly in order for the ad to be excluded for example if an advertiser is targeting for the keyword hat but does not want their ad to show for the searches related to white hat or blue hat they could add these as negative exact keywords this means that any search query containing the exact phrase uh, would not trigger Uh, that particular ad after selecting this enter the list of negative keywords and click on add keywords with product targeting you can target specific products categories brands or other product features that are relevant to your advertised item you can target either individual products or categories and also refine category targets by product attributes like price range ratings prime shipping eligibility and more start with category targeting the suggested tab under the category targeting option recommends relevant categories to the target amazon identifies suggested products and categories based on shoppers interactions items they frequently view click and purchase together with your advertised item You can also search the categories you want to target and add them. Under individual products, you have suggested search, enter list and upload options to add the ASIN targets. Next is negative product targeting. This is very much similar to negative keyword targeting, but here we are dealing with products. I've observed that sellers who used negative products saw a remarkable increase in sales and impressions. You should identify low performing asins and mark them negative. Search for non converting asins with a low click through rate, non converting asins with high ad spend and non converting asins with more clicks. If you are having difficulty filtering out these asins, you can conveniently locate them using the seller app dashboard. Under insights, click on negative asins. On the left, you'll find the asins which are not converting well for your campaigns. After analyzing them based on the campaign metrics, you can select the asins to either mark them negative or ignore them for 7 days. Clicking on mark negative will add it as a negative asin at the ad group level. Let's come back to the advertising console now. Under negative product targeting, you have two options. exclude brands and exclude products 
Under exclude products, you can search, enter list or upload the file of negative ACEs. If you want to target both keywords and products, you can simply create two different manual campaigns, one for each targeting option. The next thing to decide on while setting uh, your sponsored product campaign is to decide on the bidding. You should decide on the amount of bid that you are placing on the keywords. If your bid wins over your competition, these keywords will show your products as the number one result. Amazon gives you three options to choose from. These options are dynamic bid down only. This is the best bidding strategy when you are on a strict budget and do not want to spend unnecessary money on non-converting keywords. In this strategy, Amazon automatically lowers the bid on the keywords with fewer chances of converting into a sale. Second is dynamic bid up and down. If you have a flexible budget and are ready to spend a little extra to get the top spot, then this bidding strategy is the best for your keywords. With this strategy, Amazon will automatically raise your bid price by up to 100% if the ad has a higher chance of generating more sales. At the same time, it will lower the bid for those keywords that have fewer chances of converting. Third is fixed bids. This bidding strategy depends on your goal, whether you want to save some money and generate a few sales or you want to spend some extra and get that stop spot. Because Amazon will not change your designated bids in the option, you have to change them manually based on the retrieved stats. Have a clear goal for your advertisement campaigns so you know which bidding strategies will work for you. Apart from this, Amazon shares each keyword suggested bids to give an initial idea to the seller. Additionally, you can adjust the bids by placement for your sponsored product campaigns based on where you want your ads shown on the Amazon. This feature allows you to set different bid adjustments for two different placements, the top of search and the product pages. For example, you may want to increase your bid up to 50% for the top of search placement but decrease your bid by 20% for product pages. With this, you can better control your ad spend and improve the performance of your campaigns. Different placements have different levels of competition and may perform differently in terms of click-through rates, conversion rates, and other metrics. So analyze your campaign placement data over time to make changes to your strategy. And now comes the simple part. Set the campaign name, set the portfolio, enter the start date and the end date. Now set your daily budget. The daily budget is the amount that you are willing to spend on your campaign each day. And now you are all set to launch your campaign. Also, did you know that creating ad campaigns on SellerApp is now easier than ever? You can do it in just a few clicks. All you need to do is go to the campaign manager under the advertising dashboard, select bulk actions and you are good to go. And if you are still not sure how to go about it, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to create a guide video on this updated feature, so stay tuned for more information. Creating a campaign is just a first step to ensure its success. It's important to continually monitor and optimize it based on your goals. By regularly reviewing your campaign performance and making adjustments, you can improve your ROI and achieve better results over time. By following the steps we have discussed, you can create your successful campaigns that generate more revenue and ultimately increase your bottom line. And if you want to learn even more about optimizing your sponsor product campaigns, be sure to check out my upcoming videos. Stay tuned. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave them in your comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, 
click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!